Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me, Super Fantasy. It's my latest tutorial. It is a Viking axe made out of foam board or cardboard, and it's got some nice little things like this ornamental work. And a new technique for making bevels on weapons. And it's all in the template. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. So the first thing you do is print up the template. And the link to the template is in the description of this video. To look in the description down below and you can find out where to get the template. It's, of course, free. And cut out the first four pieces. One, two, three, and four. And then tape them together like this. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is an easy project. A good beginner project and it comes out good. If you've never done one of my projects, you want to make one, try this one. So tape them together like this to form the actual axe. And then inspect it, take a look at it, and if there's any edges that don't quite match right, you can just trim those. So make everything nice and smooth. And you only need one sheet of foam board for this project. One sheet, that's it. Or a big piece of cardboard. You can do this on cardboard too. So lay that template down on your foam board, way over towards one side like this, and trace it. And you do that twice. You want two of them. And I'm actually we're going to make some more pieces here to make this nice and strong. So it's kind of usable. You can kind of have some fun with this axe. And if you um, are not familiar or you haven't seen it, I have other Viking projects too. I have the shield and I have the helmet and a sword. So it's kind of fun. So go ahead, once you've got those both traced out, go ahead and cut them out. And a good way to cut foam board is to make three passes. Don't try to cut all the way through on the first pass with your knife. Cut three times and the third time will cut uh, the final cut. So now let's make the handle and this is where the strength comes in. Trace just the handle part of the axe like this and trace two of those. You can see, so you're leaving the blade of the axe off of this. I'll show you, you'll see what I mean. See, just like this right there, see it? Make two of those and cut those out. So now that we have a nice four stack of foam board, we're gonna have a pretty strong Viking axe. So glue them together, and you can use hot glue gun or white glue. Anything that'll glue paper, because the top sheets of this is paper. You glue the two axes together, and then you put a handle on one side, you flip it over, and you put a handle on the other side. And that's that. Very nice. Now you could go ahead and use this right now, paint it up and use it as an axe, but we're gonna add some ornamental work that makes it look really nice little bit of extra uh, but we, and before we do that though let's clean it up see how when you're stacking together and gluing together pieces um, depending on how you did with the tracing and the cutting there's going to be a little bit of um, unevenness so use a knife to just trim away that unevenness and use some sandpaper to um, smooth it all out so now let's cut the bevel and I said I got a new technique here Draw a line along the bevel on both sides of the axe, top and bottom, about three quarters of an inch from the edge, and then cut it away. And you know, this takes a little bit of skill and practice to cut, you might want to practice. And it takes a really sharp knife. Um, some people do it with just a single sliding motion and sometimes that works. And sometimes you can do it with like a, a sawing motion like this. So experiment a little bit if you want it to come out really good. But I'm gonna show you how to fix it so it doesn't matter too much. But see how I'm cutting at an angle there? Cut to the center of the two stack. And then flip it over and do the other side also. And then gently sand it just a little bit. If you sand it a lot, it'll end up to be quite a bit concave. Try to sand it so it stays flat, a nice beveled edge. Looks good. So now you can, if you have some Mod Podge, you could even use white glue for this if you wanted. 
we want to strengthen and preserve that edge and I'm using spackling and this was an idea I got from somebody else's YouTube channel um, uh, somebody called Rocket Girl I'll put a link to her channel here so a shout out to her and a thanks to her for this idea of using spackling and the spackling I'm using actually is pink but that's because um, this spackling is kind of neat um, when it dries it, it turns white so that's this this stuff tells you when it's dry as it's pink it's still wet and then when it's pure white you know it's dry and I, I kind of like that I think it cost me like five bucks but that's spackling and a special thanks to Rocket Girl for the idea so let's do the the um, the wrapping ornamental part of the axe that's parts 5a and 5b cut those out of the template and tape them together and try to keep it nice and straight it makes a difference like I'll show you right here see this like that keep that try to keep it nice and straight and then we're going to cut away about half of the center section so mark it like that and we're going to cut away half of that and by half I mean half the depth that's the part that actually wraps around the handle you'll see first cut the edges that we drew here and on the other end and then cut away half of it bifurcating that foam board right down the middle approximately don't worry about it it's a little bit tricky but just um, slide your knife right through the foam like that and then flip it over and do the other edge too and remove uh, about half the depth right like this and there'll be some inconsistencies there depending on how you cut it or what you used you could even use a hot wire foam cutter sand it down smooth but you'd like to try to leave about half the foam because it actually ends up looking pretty good So this is what's going to happen. You're going to put it on the axe like this and fold it around. And this is where it makes it look very Viking. Just the way that's shaped. It makes it look like you've forged a handle hole so you could put, force the wooden handle into it. Right like that. Adjust it and trim it as needed. And glue it on. All right, and take a look at that. Trim all of that as needed. So just like we did with the handle stack, you know, you want to trim this folded steel stack to, you know, trim it and sand it a little bit. So now, see, look, the pink is almost all disappeared. There's only a little bit left, which means it's almost dry in my case. But once it is dry, now sand it smooth, and then you've got a nice beveled edge on your weapon, and it's got some strength from it. So with use, it won't just fold and wrinkle and bend it'll 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 be able to take some abuse so let's finish it off by painting it well um the handle uh, excuse me all of the axe head is silver easy enough and if you don't have silver um you can use a light gray and then all of the handle is uh, brown that's that you know i considered too wrapping this with some like leather or some lace or some, you know like uh leather wrapping or something but I didn't you could you know embellish that handle if you wanted to by adding like a leather section down towards the bottom where your hand goes you know so oh remember if you make this project send me a picture I'll send you a certificate of contribution so let's finish it off now with the ornamental work and I give you this in the template which makes it easy cut out those ornaments and you place them on the axe head just like this don't glue them you just place them on the axe head and then with a blunted pencil or a ballpoint pen trace over that pattern pressing firmly and you want to press nice and firm because what happens is it causes an indent in the 
foam board that you can see. I'll show you that. So we've um, traced the pattern onto the axe. Now watch this. See that? So now go over that with a marker or a ballpoint pen and your ornament is done. And hey, do your own ornament if you want. You need to do some Celtic patterns, the Spiral of Life or something. And the axe, there we go. The axe is all done. Nice job, easy. And uh, remember, I got, um, I, I don't know, a thousand projects. Uh, here on my YouTube channel, I have 800 videos. And on my website, I got, well, thousands of projects and all kinds of uh, ideas. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.